Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 begins in less than two weeks and we are going to be taking a look at the potential map that we could be getting in this amazing Marvel season. Before we get into it guys, I would like to remind you, I will be gifting subscribers here on my channel. All you have to do is leave a like, subscribe button, channel notifications, head on over to the Fortnite item shop guys and use code LOGIC. I do appreciate all of you guys using my code. We're getting very close to 20,000 subscribers, but guys, let's just get straight into the video. The map changes we could get could be huge. If we do get a live event at the end of this season leading to destruction on the map, the changes could be humongous. One reason is Fortnite loves to go all out when it is a collab season. Of course, Chapter 2 Season 4 was one of the best seasons in Fortnite history. Everybody loved the Marvel skins, so I think if they can replicate it similarly, I think this could be such a good season. We do know that um, Doctor Doom will be coming as a Battle Pass skin and if he can like be on the map as a uh, NPC that like gives a mythic weapon then he could actually be a really cool addition to the game. Of course so many POIs could change, I think in the top right we could get a Stark Industries back just like we did in Chapter 2 Season 4 as it was such a big hit. Of course we didn't even get Stark Industries from the start of last, uh, last time we had the Marvel event in Chapter 2 Season 4, it came as an update halfway through the season and it ended up being one of the best updates we had. A POI that we could actually get which would be very cool next season in Chapter 5 Season 4 is actually the Avengers Towers. Basically it is the main headquarters in a bunch of Marvel movies and I think this would be such a cool addition to the map. If we actually take a look back at the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 trailer, all of the Battle Pass skins were actually in the Avengers headquarters. But if we remember from that season, the headquarters POI never actually came out in that season, which is really strange. However, we do know that Fortnite loves to show us secrets that will be revealed in many years. So maybe this was Fortnite's way to like let us know like three years ago that in a few years we'll be getting another Marvel season with an Avengers Tower POI. Of course, Fortnite loved to tease things in advance. I'm pretty sure like there was rumors of like chapter one battle passes including stuff about like the live event at the end of season x i mean it's crazy how much fortnite plans all of this but i think the avengers towers could be a great addition to the map of course i think it would make the most sense to probably be in the middle of the map seeing as it is quite a tall building i think it just makes the most sense if it is like right in the center of the map of course, the map changes can depend on how much damage Megalodon actually does to the map during the live event. If you do want to find out more about the live event, I did make a video a few days ago all about the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 end of season live event, so make sure to go to check out that video. But another POI that we could see make a return in Chapter 5 Season 4, and notice how I said make a return, is actually the Daily Bugle. If you guys remember, this POI was added in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1, right at the start when it was like a brand new chapter, it was like a Christmas update. That season was genuinely quite underrated, of course we got Spider-Man Mythics, it was heavily Spider-Man themed Battle Pass. It was a very good season to be honest. I think the Daily Bugle could make a return, um, I don't know where it could be on the map, maybe like bottom left would be quite cool. Um, and I think the Spider-Man Mythics could also make a return. Of course, I expect there to be a lot of Mythics making a return and new Mythics like the Doctor Doom Mythic, um, the Spider-Man Mythic. So many cool Mythics could be obtainable on the map. So I feel like Daily Bugle has a strong chance of making a return. Maybe even with Stark Industries, but this time in like the top right of the map. Then again, I don't know if we're going to get like too many map changes. Of course we would love to, but if we remember from the roadmap, after Chapter 5 Season 4, which of course is next season, the Marvel season, we are actually going to be going into Chapter 6. Um, so I don't think Fortnite is going to want to do too many map changes, as of course every chapter we get like a completely new map. 
So I'm sure Fortnite will want to save a lot POIs for like the brand new season of Chapter 6 Season 1. One more addition we could see to the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 map is actually Doctor Doom's lair. If you remember back from Chapter 2 Season 4, we actually had the Doom's Domain POI, which took over from Pleasant Park. And if you remember even more, there were basically bodyguards there and Doctor Doom, where you could get Doctor Doom's OP Mythic, and the bodyguards I believe had LMGs, if my memory is correct. If you killed them, you then got a key card, and there was a vault. And considering that Doctor Doom is going to be the main enemy for the next season, I think it's like almost 99% that we are going to be getting Doctor Doom's lair making a return, because he's so linked in the storyline, and he is like the enemy of the season, so it just makes the most sense that he gets his lair back. Let me know down below what do you think and what POI you would love to see in the next season. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to subscribe if you're new as we are getting close to 20,000 subscribers. But guys, thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day guys and peace out.